Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine Django backend with Python frontend. Django is a Python framework for uh, writing backend. And in this video, we'll be using Flat for the frontend, the same framework that we used a few days ago in order to start with frontend development in Python. First of all, you have to create a Django project and in the settings, add the name of the app that I created, in this case, API and also rest framework because we need rest framework in the urls i'm going to include the url urls uh, file of our app or, or api.urls and in the api you have to create two <coughs> for files urls.py and serializers.py in the in the models i'm just creating a simple text model just just to show you i just want to show you how to combine it so i'm not going to uh, very serious projects and all and in the serializers.py we are serializing the fields of the uh, snippet model that we created and then in the views i i wrote two uh, i wrote a class based view and there are two methods <coughs> get and post for the get request and post request all this code can be found in the django rust framework uh, doc documentation it is copied it from there and then in the urls.py we have to include our view <coughs> now we'll get into the front end part or First of all, you have to import from flat. You have to import these all things and also import request library. If you don't have that, you have to install it by pip install request. And after that, we will create a main function for flat. So define main page will be page page. You have to import it from flat. And then we'll create page dot add. We'll add to the page page dot add a column that we have to import and then controls in order to add text and all everything to the controls and then we'll add a button so floating action button and we'll give it a text of get to get all the items in the database and on click we'll for now give a name of the function name we'll just give it get similarly we'll create one more text we will get it post in order to post to the database on click is equal to post now we will just create two functions define get and pass in e and for pass for now similarly define post pass in e and pass the function for now now we have to create a text field in order to uh, give the text that we need to post to the database so tf will name tf is equal to text field we are uh, creating this outside the outside over here in order to change the value on the post on the get button on the button click not not to change in order to access the variable so we'll just give it a hint text of let's say give some text give some text <coughs> and then we will add it over here by tf do not forget to uh, put a comma otherwise error will come and now in the get fun i have uh, in the database i have an api like this i already created two uh, two snippets from the admin panel by creating super by using the super user so if you don't if you didn't do that do it don't forget to uh, make migrations and migrate otherwise it will not work now in the define get we'll give r is equal to requests don't get which request you have to import so and then we'll copy this link and paste over here and after that we'll give a json format for this and then in order to show everything in the screen we'll say for im range of length of r in this case the length of r is two one two so this is a list so you know the length of it is one and two so two is the length so for i in range two then we'll get page we'll add to the page a text which have you have to import we'll add a text uh, with the value r r is this one and index of i that we will have two index in this case and then inside it's like a dictionary with a text so we'll pass in text so 
something will be added and then in order to change the value we have to give page dot update now what we have to do is we have to run the app so app you have to import app from flight target is the name of the function target is equal to main in this case and then view is equal to web browser which also you have to import now when we run the uh, when we run the file we'll go to uh, now when we click on this get function we can see that two uh, lines of text is shown and these two are the text in the database now in order to add to the database we will uh, update the post function so we'll request we'll post to the request request dot post and then the same link same link as this because we created the uh, get and post function with the same uh, view in the in django and we'll uh, pass in for data as a dictionary we will pass in text because we need to update the text we need to add to the text id is all automatic id will be automatically created and we need to uh, add to the uh, text uh, the value that we give in the text field so here the name of the text field is tf tf dot value we we'll pass in tf dot value and the string value of tf dot value string value of tf dot value now when we run it again when we get we'll get something like this and now this is created from front end and then when we post and then get we'll have three of them and when we go to the api we have three id is showing four because i have already tried before it and the third id was already created and i, I deleted it so now we uh, we can see that we have successfully added to the database so this is how to use django backend with python front end I just wanted to show you how not looking at the design and all. You can similarly create put delete etc functions also. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please like, share and subscribe and I'll be back with another video soon. Thank you for watching.